The skies were not so friendly to flyers trying to get home to grandma's for Christmas. More than 3,100 flights were canceled yesterday alone. But one airline led the pack, Southwest. Deanna, FlightAware tracks more than 100 airlines, but Southwest is responsible for more than half of the cancellations. How come? Yeah, that was yesterday, and, and that is a great question. Now, weather affected every airline Christmas weekend, but of the 3,183 flights canceled yesterday, 1,635 were Southwest flights. That's 51 percent. I know because my cousins who were flying in from Houston to see me were supposed to be on one of those canceled flights. So, of course, as a consumer investigator, it got me thinking, what are your rights? when your flights are canceled or delayed. My Cousin's Tale provides some answers. For one sweet seven-year-old traveler, this was more than a Christmas Eve visit to Rochester. This was her first flight. First stop, Baltimore. We were supposed to have a three-hour layover, three layover in Baltimore, which I was dreading. I thought that was a long time with a seven-year-old. What she would soon learn is that her wait was about to get longer, much longer. We got off, we're looking for the other gate, and on the way there, I get a text saying that I had been re my flight had been rescheduled. Yep, rescheduled for December 26th, the day after Christmas. And at every counter, the lines of grounded Southwest Airlines passengers faced the same plight. Finally, a gate agent had good news. She got her on another flight. So that night, that flight was supposed to leave at at 9.30 and they were saying it was late and they kept bumping the time later and later. It was 10.30, then it was 11.40 and then they canceled it. That's right, no more flights that night. She was stuck and she wasn't alone. As Santa made his trek across the globe, hundreds of hapless passengers would spend all night in the Southwest Airlines Terminal at Baltimore Washington International Thurgood Marshall Airport. So when you asked about compensation, were um, you ever given a voucher? I just, no, 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 I was just told, no, nothing. No, no food voucher, no, nothing. In August, U.S. Transportation Secretary Pete Buttigieg said he was cracking down on airlines and forced transparency by launching the airline customer service dashboard. Here you can easily review airline policy, and it clearly states Southwest is one of many airlines that provides meals and hotels when it cancels your flight. Ah, uh, but here's the rub. It only commits to providing accommodations when the cancellations are controllable, like a mechanical or staffing problem. But if the weather can be blamed, you're out of luck. Your yeah. feelings about that? It's a big loophole. So here's the problem with that loophole. Did the storm simply exacerbate other problems the airline was already having? Consider this. Yesterday, Southwest had four times the number of cancellations that Delta had, eight times the number that United had, and American only had 13 cancellations yesterday. So I reached out to Southwest for comment, and the airline blames, quote, lingering effects of the weather system, but insists it will reimburse customers who had canceled flights. A spokesman did not answer the question about why Southwest had so many more canceled flights than other airlines. If you have a complaint about any airline, you can contact the U.S. Department of Transportation online. I'll have a link for that for you on our website, whec.com.